just need to make sure you're safe to drive, okay? You have any alcohol, you said? No. 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 Alright, Monica, go ahead and jump on out. Is your dog okay to stay in the car? Yes. Alright. She's going to drive your vehicle off the road first. And we're going to park it over there, okay? So go and step on out, alright? Wait, wait, wait. Can I park it? No, just step on out. Put the car in park? If it's not already in park? If it has a fob, leave it in there. Yeah, it's a little dog. It's a Yorkie. Come on out, man. Do you have a key fob to the car or no? Yeah, it's in my purse. Okay, you can leave it in there. Let's walk over here, okay? No, no, no. Although I'm cold. We're going to walk over here to the sidewalk, okay? Okay. You haven't had any alcohol tonight? No. What was the last time you had a drink? The last time you had a drink was yesterday. Okay. Have you taken any um, prescription medication tonight? Other than ibuprofen, no. Okay. Oh. I wish I could change the weather for you, but I can't, okay? Can I get a jacket? I have a jacket in my car. Yeah, I'll have somebody grab it for you once she moves it off the line. Thank you. Totally. 746. Oh, can you want me to check? Uh, can you want me to check? 746. 1040. Do you have a 26? Mary George Tom 090. Yeah, we're going to have somebody grab it for you, okay? Okay. It's in my car. Hey, Jason. Can you tell them to grab the jacket out of the car? No, it's in my trunk. It's in the trunk. Oh, Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Stay over here. It's not that cold, okay? It is cold. It's not that cold. It's 67 degrees. It's in the trunk! It's in the trunk! <laughs> Where are you coming from, you said? So, my boyfriend and I got in a fight. Uh huh. Sorry. So, I am coming home. Okay. Jacket! We're gonna get you that, Mr. Trunk. <laughs> No, 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 you need to stay over here, okay? Oh. All right, well, let's just get this over with so that we can get through with okay. it, okay? Do me a favor, place your feet just like they are. Keep your arms at your sides like this for me, okay? I'm going to show you a light this time. I want you to follow this light right here. Do you see it? Yeah. Eyes only, don't move your head, okay? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. So wait, this light? Yep, this one okay. right here. And don't move your head, just use your eyes. Keep following it, okay? Don't move your head, okay? Okay. Okay, the light. Monica, do me a favor, stand on the light, face that way for me, okay, right there. So this next test is a walking test. If you want to take your boots off, you can take them off. If you want to leave them on, you can leave them on. It's entirely up to you. All right, what would you like to do? Well, my boots are soft, so <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to leave them on. That's totally fine. I'm just giving you the option. Do you have any problems with your balance or walking or anything like that? Do you have any medical? No, other than the fact that I'm cold. Okay. Well, they said there's no jacket in there, so I can't... There search. is a jacket in there. Well, they said that there's not, so I can't go search your car right now, okay? So let's just get through this, and we'll okay. get you a jacket. All right. So no issues with your balance, no medical problems. Is that right? You're just cold. I'm just cold. All right. So do me a favor. Put your left foot 
on an imaginary line in front of you. So what I want you to do is imagine that there's a solid straight line right here in front of you just like that, okay? Now what, I want you to put your left foot on that line. Now put your right foot in front of your left foot with your heels and toes touching each other, arms out at your sides like this, and stay in that position, okay? Don't move from there. Don't start the test yet. When I tell you to begin, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps along that imaginary line in front nine. of you. Nine steps, heel to toe. Nine steps, okay. Once you get, hold on, don't start yet. Oh. Don't start yet. Once you get to your ninth step, I want you to keep your front foot on the ground and then take a series of small short steps with your back foot. Seriously, can, I know there's a jacket in my car. Okay, your car's not there anymore. Your car's in the parking lot and it's 67 degrees. It's not that cold. But I'm cold. I understand that you're cold, but it's, it's, it's relatively not too bad, okay? Now, let me finish the instructions, okay? Once you get to your ninth step, use your front, keep your front foot on the ground and then use your back foot to, wait, take, wait, wait. The, to okay. take a series of small short steps and turn around. Okay. okay. You got that part? Yeah. So nine steps and yep. then back. Yep. And then once you take that turn, hold on, don't start yet. Once you turn, you'll take another nine heel to toe steps back along that same line, counting each step out loud, okay? I'm going to demonstrate it for you. It's going to look like this, okay? Your feet are going to be in this position just like this. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps, counting each step out loud. One, two, three, all the way to nine, okay? Once you get to your ninth step, you're going to keep your front foot on the ground just like I'm doing, okay? You're gonna take your back foot and you have to take a series of small short steps like this, turning around, keeping that front foot on the ground, okay? Once you turn around, then you'll take another nine steps, tilt to toe. One, two, three, just like that. Okay. All the way until you get to nine. Don't stop the test until you finish it, okay? Okay. Do you understand all the instructions? So I'm supposed to start like this or like or like this. Go ahead and keep your feet back in that position. So push your right foot in front of your left foot. Alright, now the first step that you take is your number one step, okay? Do you understand? So one. Hold. Okay, Two, Could you understand? Three, cool. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One. Ah! Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! Seven, eight, nine. Okay. The next test is a standing test, okay? So stand like this with your feet together, okay? Arms on your sides, stay like that, okay? When okay. I tell you to begin, you're gonna raise the leg of your choice six inches off the ground, okay? That's about the size of a can of soda. Once you raise that leg of your choice, it doesn't matter which leg it is, you pick the leg. You're gonna look down at the foot that you raise and you're gonna count out loud like this, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, until I tell you to stop, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. Your arms are down at your sides like this, okay. feet are together. You raise the leg of your choice, it doesn't matter which leg you choose. Six inches off the ground, okay? Keeping your foot parallel to the ground, just like this. Notice how my, my foot is straight, my leg is straight. Mm -hmm. Look down at the foot that you raise and count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And you're gonna do that until I tell you to stop, okay? Keep your arms at your sides the entire time, okay? okay? Make sure that you look down at the foot that you raised while you're counting the entire time, okay? Do you understand the instructions? So, I'm supposed to... Count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000. Until I tell you to stop. Hold on, don't start 1, yet. Don't, I didn't say start yet. Do you understand all the instructions? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions? I'm just cold. I get it. I wish I could make, <laughs> make things different for you, but I can't change the weather. Do you understand the instructions? Okay. I'm supposed to count until you tell me to stop. Correct, yes. So when do you say start? Do you understand the test? Yes. All right, whenever you're ready. You can stop. It's really not that cold. It's almost 70 degrees. I, I understand that you have a... I'm not fully closed. I'm wearing short sleeves. But I understand I'm not wearing a dress, okay? Uh, do you have... What level of education do you have? I'm sorry to ask you that. I know it's personal, but... I have a... High school okay. diploma plus a real estate license. Okay. Plus I'm a state rep. Oh, good. So you can count backwards, I'm assuming, and you know your alphabet? <laughs> yes. Okay. Can you count backwards from 47 to 32 for me, please, out loud? 47, 46, 
your alphabet starting with F ending with R. F to R. Out loud please. F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Do you have anything in your mouth? Like gum or tobacco or anything like that? No. Can I see? Is that through tongue? Thank you. So the tests that you just did, Monica, they're not pass or fail tests, they're just certain clues that I look for, okay, that measure impairment, okay? So what needs to happen now is I need to give you the opportunity to do a breath test, okay? Depending on the results of that breath test is how we go from here, okay? So I need to place you under arrest for DBI. So go ahead and turn around for me and place your hand on the back. No, 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 no. Yes, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, and place your hand on the back. Turn around and place your hand on the back. You have had alcohol. I can smell alcohol. And my test show. Okay, well then, when you decide to take the breath test or not, then. That'll show that. No, I'm not gonna... Well, it's up to you. If you don't want to do the test, then I can't force you to. There are penalties, but I'll redo that when we get over there. Yeah. I literally did everything right. You did it. Do everything right. They're not passed. I did too. Stop turning around on me, please. Thank you so much. They're not pass or fail tests. They're just certain clues that are observed, and you exhibited quite a bit of those clues. So let's walk over to my car, please. Okay, this way. Okay, so my car is this one right up here, so unfortunately we have to walk up this gravel um, pathway, okay? Take a right, please, going up the gravel. I'm going to make sure you don't fall. I know it's a steep... You have a dog in the car that we need to address, so... Yeah. Come on over here this way, please. Thank you so much. I'm going to have you have a seat in the back of my car for just a moment while I get some paperwork from my computer. And then once I'm done with that, then we're going to go into that RV thing, looking over thing over there. You want to have a seat for me, please, Monica?
Monica, I smell alcohol. You perform poorly on field sobriety tests. What? Uh, you, you, you performed the test, but yeah, you did really, really poorly on the test. I'm pretty sure I know the field sobriety tests, and I know that when somebody does poorly on them... No, ma'am. I don't have a reason to joke with you. Yes, ma'am. Um, not yet. Not until we're done with the entire arrest. Well, like I said, the tests are not pass or fail. There's just certain clues that I look for. I understand it's not a great situation to be in, but... Stay on. For, what? for DWI, I already told you once. DWI? Driving while intoxicated, yes. No, officer, Yes. Please. I have done everything you've asked me to do. I understand that and you've I've complied. Done it perfectly. <laughs> no, you did not. I did. I did do it. Hey, I'm live still, so just FYI. What? I know it's probably too early. Oh, no, you can. Oh, okay. You can start it. I'll get it started. Yeah, thank you. No, you didn't, Monica. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be arrested. You wouldn't be arrested if you did anything. Are you? Can you at least take these off of me? I cannot. That's policy. Is to keep them on. Sure, absolutely. I can totally get that for you. Can you get my yes, ma'am. I can do that as well. Officer, are mm -hmm. you kidding me? I am not kidding you, Monica. I don't have a reason to kid with you. If you decide to take a breath test and you said you haven't had any alcohol, then that will show that there's no alcohol on board. I know, it's not comfortable, but we'll be out of here in just a few minutes, and then we're going to go over there. You'll have a little bit more room. Not much, but a little bit more. East, what? We're going to take care of the dog. Moved over to event seven every 54 and everything done by any of the units that were previously on. Well, I'm sorry that you guys were in the argument. I mean, that's, I don't mean to add more issues to your night, but...
Well, that doesn't make it okay to drink and drive. I'm not drinking and driving. Okay. Seriously. Well, then once we do the breath I test, it'll show. What's that? My dog is in the car. Your dog's being taken care of. We're tending to the dog. The dog is not going to be left or, or anything like that. We're going to make sure that we take care of the dog. Okay, once we get inside there, I'll let you, um, let you do that, okay? I don't have anything to give you right now at the moment to do that. I'm sorry. treating you poorly at all. Well, I can't take you to handcuffs right now at this very moment just so you can wipe your face. Yes, ma'am. Seriously, people tell me you treat people of color like shit, and I am seriously asking you to let me wipe my face. Okay, I can't take you out of handcuffs right now just so you can wipe your face. Once we get into the bat, which is that RV thing, I will take your handcuffs off you, give you a moment to wipe your face off, okay?
All right, Monica, now we're going to go into that RV looking thing over there. I'll give you an opportunity to wipe your face. Okay, once we get in there, and I can get you some paper towels too. I don't have anything in here to give you right now, so that's why we're not going to do that until we get in there. So, what? Some light. Seriously, I can't. I don't even have a way to get out of here. Can I help you out, or you got it? Well, how can you help me out? By I pulling I, your charm right here. Seriously, I don't. <sighs> okay, go ahead and walk forward to the left, please. Right this way. Hey, will you bring me her, her wallet and then her cell phone as well? Thank you. We're going to go up there with that female sitting right there. That's where we're going to go inside, okay? This is the best that I can do, given the circumstances, okay? Go ahead and stand up real quick and... This needs to be very quickly, okay? There you go. Go ahead and wipe your face real quick. <coughs> All good? Just go ahead and throw that on the counter right there. And then I gotta put your handcuffs back on, so okay, turn around please. Okay. Monica, I need you to read something that's important. So I need to read you something that's important, okay? I'm going to read you the New Mexico Implied Consent Advisory. It's posted right here in blue. This is in English. That one's in Spanish, so if you want to read the English one, it's right over here. So you can step over here. Listen to me, I'm about to read you something that's important. Right now, you are under arrest for DWI. The New Mexico Applied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you agree to take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, licensed nurse, laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional chemical test will be paid for by the law, enforce, law enforcement agency, which is the Albuquerque Police Department. Monica, do you agree to submit to a breath test? No. 
I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for a period of one year. If you are convicted in court, the penalties could be greater, and you also lose your New Mexico driver's license or, um... If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested, and you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for a period of one year. Do you understand those penalties? Yes, I understand those penalties. Okay. With those penalties in mind, do you agree to submit to a breath test? No. All right. I can't force you to take the test, but if you change your mind, let me know, because this machine is timed. I'm going to start it up, and once it starts, then it's going to give you a, an opportunity to submit to the test. And if you don't want to do so, you don't have to do so, just like you told me. But if you do change your mind, that'll be your opportunity to do so. So go ahead and have a seat where you were sitting at before. Okay. Thank you. Oops. Calm down. Jeez. Pull the Louie in front of you. Awesome. So pull the Louie in front of you. It's awesome. I did just now. No, I pulled the Louie in front of you just now. Thanks. Changing the names of the 46s all the time. I never keep up with them. <coughs> really? She said she's coming from a friend's, and then boyfriend's. Oh, that felt nice. Kick that thing on. The second time I've seen that. Trying to really fix these, these bad boys up. Hey, turn on that machine for me, Matt, please. Can you start it? Hey, 
Oh, thank you so much. I saw that. I saw that. Jason did. Thank you. No, they 
have to stay on Monica.